Carib oiling with rage. Queen bestows William and Kate vital role made Sussex green with envy. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William have been given a vital role by the Queen as the monarch continues to take a step back from royal duties. The Queen has pulled out of her appearance at this year's Commonwealth Games, which run from 28 July to 8 August, due to her episodic mobility issues, opens in new tab, royal sources have confirmed. In her place, other members of family will be attending to show their support. Buckingham Palace has confirmed that the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, the Princess Royal, and the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester will visit the sporting venues, attend the range of fixtures, and meet athletes, volunteers and support staff helping at the event. The Royals will also attend events and engagements celebrating the Games, such as the opening and closing ceremonies, and pre ceremony receptions. The Commonwealth Games is an international sporting event involving various different sports and sees athletes from the Commonwealth nations go head-to-head -head in all sorts of sports from badminton, beach volleyball and boxing to lawn bowls, cricket and squash. The event takes place every four years and this year will be held in Birmingham. Although the Queen will be absent from the sporting event, she will be present in another form. In October last year, the Queen wrote and placed an as yet unread message in a baton during the Queen's baton relay event. The note is expected to be revealed and read aloud at the launch of the Games on July 22 as part of Prince Charles' speech. Taking to the royal family's official Instagram page, the Queen shared a rare clip of her signing her the message. The caption read, the Queen signing her message to the Commonwealth which will be read at the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham next year. Today, the message was placed inside the Queen's baton before it began its journey to Birmingham via 72 Commonwealth territories and nations, connecting communities over 90,000 miles. The outlet reports that Prince William and Kate Middleton are worried that anything they say to Harry and Meghan could be summarily leaked to the media. Veteran royal expert and author Katie Nichol spoke to Entertainment Tonight about how little time the brothers and their wives spent together at last month's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, saying I think that does signal not just a busy timetable on the part of the Cambridges, but perhaps also a bit of a lack of trust. Harry's tell-all memoir is slated to hit shelves as soon as the end of the year, the Sussexes are also apparently filming a reality docuseries with Netflix. I do know that William and Kate are worried that anything they might say or do with the fact that it could end up being leaked to the media, Nichols says. So, I think in the case of really having to prove now that they can be trusted, it remains to be seen what the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's upcoming projects will reveal about the royal family. If there's going to be any chance of moving on, repairing relationships and really trying to heal some pretty deep wounds, then I think Harry and Meghan are going to have to respect the wishes of the royals, Nichols says. I think Harry and Meghan are absolutely going to have to respect the wishes of, Queen Elizabeth II, and, Prince Charles, and that these meetings remain private. The Sussexes met with both Her Majesty and the Prince of Wales during their recent visit to the UK for the Platinum Jubilee. Harry and Meghan's children Archie and Lily also joined the couple for the jaunt across the pond, and Lilibet met her namesake, her great-grandmother the Queen, and her grandfather Charles for the first time.